I'm going to show you how to personalize and automate letters and envelopes using mail merge in Microsoft Office. If you... So let's get started. Uh, first, we need our contact lists for the, pe the friends and family we're going to be mailing, say, uh, Christmas cards to. So here I have a few filled in. Um, what we need now is column headers. This will help tell Microsoft Word um, like which of these data is uh, the first name, last name, city, state, all that. So let's type those in here. Um, they don't have to be exactly like this, um, but these are the default titles for this type of data. Uh, that um, Microsoft Word uses. So if you use these exact ones, then Microsoft Word will detect them pretty easily. Um, we also want to add a few, a few more bits of data here just for testing. So I want at least 30 contacts in here. And there we have our contact list. So now we're going to save this to a place where we can find it later. Um, and in my documents, I'm just going to create a folder called uh, quadruple A here. And I'm going to put it in there and call it addresses. So next, open up Microsoft Word. What we want is a letter like dear name, dear first name. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can actually see it. Okay, so we have our basic outline for our letter and I put some underscores here for placeholders to where we want to insert our name and city to personalize this letter. So each individual on our contact list will get a letter that's personalized specifically to them. So to do that, first we need to tell Microsoft Word where our data is. So up in the mailings, uh, up in your ribbon, there's a mailings tab at the top, at least in this version of Microsoft Office. Yours might be slightly different. You might have to hunt around for it. And then we want to do select recipients. And then we want to use an existing list. So now we just want to point it to wherever we save that Excel spreadsheet. Here it is. OK, so there was one sheet within that spreadsheet. So that's the one we're going to select. Um, and down here it says first row of data contains column headers. Since that is true, we did add the column headers over here. We're going to check that. OK, so now our Word document is linked up with our spreadsheet. Now we want to tell it uh, which data to insert and where. So to do that, uh, we're going to place our cursor here where we want the data inserted. And then we're going to do um, we want this option down here, insert. Actually, let's make this bigger uh, so we can see all of our options here. We want this one here, insert merged field. And then notice this list pops up, which is populated exactly with those column headers we made. That's another reason we want to do those column headers. So we want first name. And down here, we want to delete this and insert city. So now this doesn't look like it's supposed to. Uh, these are just placeholders that Microsoft created. To preview what our data will look like, we want to do preview results. And there we have it. So now we can cycle through here uh, to see all of what our letter is going to look like. Um, so we can print this off. Let's make this a little prettier. We'll change the, the font here. Maybe that looks nice. And we will, how about we'll insert a little picture. A 
lovely. Okay, so now to print this, um, what we can do is go to, in the mailings ribbon here, we're going to go to finish and merge, and then uh, print documents. Now here, um, oh, I forgot to mention, um, if you just do control P or go to file and print, it will just print um, whatever is on the screen at the moment. So we don't want to do that if we want to print them all at once. We have to use this dialog to finish and merge, print documents. And now we can select, do we want to print all of them? Do we want to print the current one? Or do we just want to do a range? Uh, maybe we printed half of them and uh, our printer jammed up. So now we just want to print the last half. So we would do like uh, 15 to 30 then. And then when we hit OK, um, it should start printing. Um, OK. So we know how to make a personalized letter. What about mailing this? So um, there's a couple ways to do that. Let's try um, if you run envelopes through your printer. Uh, let's do it that way first. So here's our basic envelope shape. Uh, I'm going to add some, actually. Um, just going to add my return address label. But now I want to insert our um, address block here. And mail merge actually has a pretty quick feature for that. So we don't have to insert the first name, last name separately. Um, it has this big button up here called address block. So let's hit that. Oh, first we have to connect up our document because this is a different Word document. So we want to do, um, make sure our addresses are selected. Yep, that's right. And now that it's connected, let's do uh, address block. And so here's a preview of what our um, address block will look like. But you could change if you want um, suffixes or uh, Mr. and Mrs. added, stuff like that. Um, and there we go. Let's preview that, see what it looks like. Ooh, it looks like it worked. Now we'll just clean up the formatting a little. We'll make this one Ariel. Make this a little smaller. Looks beautiful. Um, so now we can print all of our envelopes at once. Just run them through the printer. The same way to print with this type. We'll do finish and merge print documents. We'll select all. Not going to do that now. Next, uh, suppose you use labels to print your documents. Um, so if you buy your labels, say from onlinelabels.com, they provide free blank templates you can use to help format your labels. So let's, um, let's find a blank template. I think it's this one. Here we are. So here's the product I want to order right now. I just want to go down to the templates. Here's one for Microsoft Word. Uh, and yes, I want portrait. Let's save this to our folder that we were saving the other things to, the uh, quadruple A folder. And, okay, now we'll open that. And here is our template. So what we want to do for this is first we'll connect it to our addresses document, where our data is. connected. 
now we're going to do our address blocks like we did on the last one. And now um, if we do another address block here, we're going to, um, when we preview this, what we're going to get is the same address over and over again. So what we have to do is something special for this next one. There's a rule up here on the rule uh, up on the rib. Um, there's one called next record, and that'll tell the spreadsheet to insert the next uh, record of the address. So when we preview that, we'll get Jane Doe. So now what we can do, since we're going to need next records for all the next ones and address blocks, we can just copy and paste this placeholder. Okay, so now when we preview, we have all of our data is inserted from the spreadsheet. So let's just format these a little, make it look nice. We'll do bold. How about Arial? We can make them a little bigger. And we can even put these on the left or the right. Whatever you like. Middle kind of looks nice. Um, and there you have it. So we can print this the same way we did the other documents. Finish and merge, print document. And then uh, there you have it. So that is it. You now have a crash course in mail merge with Microsoft Office.